As we know, Google has been entering VO2 into everything. And the most recent addition is to their Whisk product, which is within the video effects and uh, image effects library. When you finally get access to Whisk from Google, you'll open your browser and it'll look like this. If you've already played around with Whisk, you can, you'll can you see that it's pretty much the same, um, except for up in the top here, uh, right next to the image button, you have a video button. Over here to the left, you have a place, a box here where you can put your subject, scene or style. Just to kind of set the tone, I'm gonna go ahead and do the inspire me. And you see over here, we have dropped in a picture of a beautiful woman. Um, in, in a cartoon style. And the scene is almost like the background here. And within that we have like this really awesome looking uh, foresty sci-fi world. And the style is anime. The, the automatic prompt that it gave here is a subject riding a flying bike through the city, leaving behind streaks of light. So uh, when you first hit uh, submit, it'll take a minute here and it will cook and while it does that. Okay, so then we get these images back here and it's pretty consistent to the input that we put in. As you'll see here, we have the, the woman with the pink hair in her pajamas and it's very consistent with the kind of sci-fi foresty world and in an anime style. It didn't match the exact style of this anime, but you know, I think with a little bit of playing, you could get it there um, and probably with some clever prompting. But anyway, we have this awesome image. Um, I like, let's see, which one do I like best? I like this one here on the left best. Um, and you know, we could go in and refine it if we wanted to, if we wanted to say, um, uh, take out the red streak. Um, well, it would help if you spelt the word red, white, right? And as you see here, it's gonna cook again and it should give us a similar image with hopefully without this red streak of light. Um, if I need to be more specific in that, we will we'll see. And there we go. And for some reason, when we took out the red streak of light, it put her on a magical bike, which I actually think is almost cooler. So um, I love this image and I am ready to animate it. Um, I'm gonna go over here to animate, click the animate button. Um, and this is where you act, you give it a prompt. So let's say the woman, and you can be really simple with these prompts. Uh, the woman rides her magic bike on a wave of blue light. And just like that, we are going to be cooking a video. Whisk is in early access right now. So if you don't have it and you don't see this within Google Labs, then it's not a big deal. It should be rolling out to everybody, hopefully shortly. Okay, and here we go. Here's our first video. And there she is. I mean, look at those, man, look at those legs. Those, she's really riding a bike. <laughs> it followed my prompt uh, almost perfectly. Let's watch that again. I mean, it looks anime style. She kind of blinks and, and talks a little bit and there's a little distortion on her mouth, but I think with some clever prompting that we should be able to take care of that. Once you create uh, images and once you create videos, you can click over here and you can see your video library. And if you want to like them or heart them, uh, they will appear over here if you want to favor them. So let's try it again. I'm gonna clear out everything. We'll start from scratch. I'm gonna use my own. When you're inputting the images into Whisk, you can either uh, enter text, and if you don't have like a particular style or a, a subject that you want in there, um, or you can upload an image. So for this next test, I'm gonna just upload my own images. So we're gonna start with uh, the subject, which is like a character or a person. You click upload. Um, I have gone ahead and made uh, some folders here. Being organized is always important. So we're gonna start with, um, I love this, uh, here we go. Easter's coming up, so we'll, we'll start with this. And uh, it said that that file is too large. You can only upload up to 10 megabytes. So we'll have to go and find one that is slightly uh, lower. So let's go ahead and, and look at this anthropological jo uh, dog here. And there he is, cute little dog. And then next we're gonna put in the scene. And the scene is like the background, right? Uh, or the area that we want to be. So we're gonna go ahead and upload an image here. 
and I'm gonna go to my scenes. And I'm gonna put this guy in a creepy arcade. I hope this is less than 10. Awesome. You need to leave the style blank. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take it a little step further and I'm gonna give a prompt for the for the style. So I'm gonna say 35 mill millimeter film cinematic muted colors. Uh, okay, so now we have our subject, we have our scene, and we have our style here. It does generate an image here, so it takes a minute uh, based on the prompt, but, but that's pretty cool if you don't have to go to Midjourney or Rev or, or any of the other uh, image generation sites to, to load it in here. So um, then we're gonna give it a prompt. The dog wanders through a haunted arcade at night in the 1980s. I love the 80s vibe, it's very nostalgic, so we're just gonna go ahead and go with that. So just like our previous one, it's going to uh, create an image. And Whisk has been doing something interesting, and I, I'm not sure if this is just because it's in the experimental phase or if that's just the way that it's going to work, but if you see here, when we generated our image of the woman on the, the flying bike, it gave us two images. But now we're the, when we're in this kind of cascading mode and we have our video here, or our refined image, sorry, here, it only generates one image. But if we did this again, you'll see it generates two. So it's a little quirk for now, but, um, you know, I think they'll work it out or it'll just be a product work. So I love all of these images here. If you click on it, you can see it gives you the full prompt that it did uh, to, to get this image. So um, let's go over here. Um, I wanna start with, uh, I like the brown eyes here. It's looking off camera, uh, maybe not. We got a little weird hand thing there. So we're going to, we'll do this one. We're gonna hit animate. And just as always, I'm gonna do a prompt here. Say the dog walks away from the camera and plays an arcade game. Okay, we'll see how that looks. And we can do one or two things. We can sit here and let it cook. But if I exit out here, um, we can also go into the little image feature here or the video feature here, and you'll see that it's cooking over here. So if we wanted to work in parallel and maybe do a couple different things at once, we can. So I'm gonna do just that for this next one. We're gonna clear out these images here, and I'm gonna just bring in some new ones. So we'll start with um, the character and I'm gonna want to bring in, let's do this girl in the mall. Hopefully that's big enough, yep, or small enough. And with the style, oh yeah, this is kind of like a Monet uh, type feel. So it's analyzing the image, and I don't believe it took my other one because it never finished analyzing. And I think what it's actually doing is building the prompt as it analyzes. Okay, now we'll go back to the scene here. Okay, well this will be two kind of Monet looks, but that's okay, this is the back corner of an art museum. And there we go, we see it. So we'll make the prompt, the girl looks at paintings in an art museum. Again, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it because I am too tired to correct my spelling, but Google's gonna understand. So as that cooks over here, We'll go back and we'll look at our uh, video of the dog. And there it is. Oh man, right with, look at, okay, it made it a man in a dog suit, which is fine. That was kind of the, the whole point of it. Great, I mean, that's, look at that fidelity. It's totally usable. So we're gonna go back and check on our girl here. And this actually did a pretty good job. It didn't really put her as a Monet in that kind of style, but I like it. I really like this image. She does look more painterly here. So let's go ahead and go with this one. So we're gonna take it and turn it into video. And let's say the girl steals the painting off the wall. I really hope that they don't gate me for this. It looks like it's gonna go. Okay. All right, and here is our painting of a woman. Let's see, I don't know if she's, doesn't look, oh, 
Okay, so she's not stealing, but she's actually putting it back. Um, I mean, maybe we could reverse that, but I'm, I'm guessing not. But maybe with a little more prompting, we could we could get more specific with it. So, you know, it's not perfect right off the bat. We're gonna have to take our time. We're gonna have to do multiple generations, but you know, the fidelity is there and just living within this whisk ecosystem is a really fun way to do this, especially with a consistent character. Okay, there you have it. Now you know how to use whisk by entering a subject uh, a scene and a style using both images and text prompts, but also stay within the Google ecosystem of using Imogen and the VO2 models. So as always, be well, do good, and make awesome things.